morning everybody Ryan here coming at you from Niles Ohio got a uh, pretty easy little job this morning got a um, condenser fan motor to replace on that unit and apparently uh, there's a gas smell coming somewhere from this gas line on this York unit so I'm gonna kick the gas back on to this and soap test the uh, fittings and if nothing pops up right away we'll just leave it on and uh, start on that condenser fan motor and see if we can get it fixed maybe it's coming from the union this uh looks a little sketchy right there looks like there used to be a union here so who knows but uh kick that on see if i can smell some gas i picked up some uh gas leak detector from united dauber type so i'm gonna do a little sniffing see if i can locate the leak and if not then uh i'll start on that fan motor and we'll revisit this here in a bit well guys i gave it the old sniff test <laughs> and i don't smell anything so we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the uh, leak detector and see if i can get some bubbles to form but if I had to guess, I'd say it's probably here. Uh, we'll find out. Looks like this one's been taped. So I'm going to go ahead and hit all the joints from the uh, shutoff valve to the unit. And we'll see what we find. All right, well, I think I found it. Yeah, buddy, right there it is. So, we'll just take this apart here. I'm gonna have to uh, take this nipple out to get that off. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll redope it, tighten her down. That should do it, but that's definitely a leaker. You can see that bubble forming right there. See him? You see him, guys? It's a gas leak. A little guy. But still, somebody got good sense of smell. I never would have smelled it. I got everything but pipe wrenches up here. So back down to the van. Get some pipe wrench keys. I did everything. I did all the fittings. All the way up and all the way in to the gas valve and that's the only one that's leaking so maybe when they installed it, it i don't know who knows but that's the one so easy money easy money oh yeah all right guys i'm gonna go get some pipe wrenches we're gonna get that taken apart get it sealed up get the heat back on for them all right guys nothing forming in here i like it Nothing forming on any of our other fittings, except for this guy. So I'm fairly confident that's the leak. Got my pipe wrenches, and of course I've got that blue magic, baby. What is this shit? This is blue. We use a different chemical process, but it is every bit as pure. Maybe blue, but it's a bomb best in my opinion so let me go ahead and uh, shut that off I'm just gonna take it apart here unthread here spin this 90 off uh, I'm gonna look at the threads make sure there's nothing goofy going on with that maybe that's why it's leaking but if not then I'm just gonna pipe dope it and uh, tighten her back up let's do it Union wasn't even tight. What the hell? What the hell? All right, guys. Well, as you can see, the uh, Union was hardly tight, and the 90 
I could spin it off with my hand. So I'm gonna take my little wire wheel and I'm just gonna clean those threads up here real quick. I'm gonna double check and make sure everything else is good and snug, but uh, as far as I can tell right now from my hand, you know, everything feels tight. I checked this one. I'll go ahead and double check this. Let me see what we got going on in here. I don't like that. See that? I might not be getting bubbles, but that nah, this nipple, it's moving, so. I'm gonna take this out, this long nipple here, it's gonna come out and I'm gonna spin that off and we're gonna retighten that. I got it apart, might as well. I got the nipple out there. And then look, I can just spin this out with my hand, so. That's not good. I shouldn't be able to spin that out with my hand like that. <laughs> At least put a wrench on it, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna have to give these other units another look to make sure that uh, everything over there is good and tight. So, I managed to get that out with my hand. No wonder it smelled like gas up here. So let me clean all these uh, threads up and we'll get everything tightened back down. I like it. I'm gonna take this apart too and just uh, redo. I'm gonna redo everything. It seems tight, but I don't know if I trust anything now. My fittings are all cleaned up. I'm gonna wipe down that valve here. And I think we're gonna be good to go once I get some of that blue magic on here. Yeah, bitch! We won't be leaking anything. Yep. This one doesn't look too bad, but I'm gonna hit it with the uh, wire wheel as well. I tightened it on there first because I didn't want to be wrenching on this uh, gas valve too bad. A little tight fit in there, so let um, me get some dope on here and we will get her put into the gas valve. All right, guys, I'm all doped up and uh, not the good kind. Oh, you guys funny? Yeah. That's funny, huh? Yeah. Get this fit in there and you got to get this fitting pretty much right on to. Uh, have this nipple, you know, thread in. I've had a few of these where you had to do a little tweaking after uh, after you got it in there, but we'll do our best to line it up perfectly. So I'm gonna finger tighten it now, and then we'll hit it with the wrench. I'm gonna back up this uh, gas valve because we don't want this thing spinning or tweaking the uh, manifold here, you know. You don't wanna cause yourself any more headaches so that's that I got her as tight as I can get it with my hand looks like we're gonna go one more uh, turn and try to line it up as straight as I can here so it can accept this uh, nipple coming into the unit guys I got her tightened down uh, hopefully oh yeah it's gonna be pretty good I think so let me get that doped up and we'll get that put in and we're gonna be well on our way to finishing up this gas line leak repair and then I could get onto the condenser fan motor so we'll get this tightened down real good and then get this little grommet push back into place and we should be good on all the gas leaks or the loose connections in there. All right guys, I got my grommet back in. Everything's good and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this union off 
and I'm going to redo everything to here. Once I do that, I'm gonna hit it all again with the gas leak detector while I do the condenser fan motor. And if everything's good at that point, then uh, we'll kick it back on. I hit everything with the wire wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and get the blue magic on everything, tighten it down, and then we'll retest. Right, got her all tightened up here. Clean, uh, pipe doped, tightened down. I'm happy. Go ahead and uh, kick that back on. We'll go ahead and give it a quick hit with the uh, gas leak detector here. I'm fairly confident nothing's going to leak, but we've got the leak detector here. Now we'll just hit it all up real quick just to make sure all right well we're all soap tested uh got the bubbles on there i'm gonna let this sit for uh a little while while i go do that fan motor we'll come back and see if any bubbles have appeared and go from there it's bad mm. guys condense your fan motors done let's take a look here i don't see any bubbles None whatsoever. so i think we're good i'm gonna kick this one on make sure the heat works here we go Say my name. Eisenberg. You're goddamn right. Easy money, baby. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this one. I appreciate you watching the video. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. That'll notify you anytime I got a new video coming out. Leave me a comment. Hit like. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next one.